Ah, uh, yes, sir. This is Eric Lehman here, and this is my YouTube show in which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. Also, it's where my mental eyeball shenanigans are coming from my brain. It's EML77 TV, episode 534. What's going on, everybody? It is 11.45, quarter to midnight, April the 1st, 2020. Once again, another dark episode. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So I figured... um. <clears throat> After what's been going on, and after uh, Governor Baker's edict that uh, you know the session businesses will be remain closed until May the fourth, and obviously um, <clears throat> the week of Friday the thirteenth of March started this whole thing, and I've taken my you know I've taken my vacation and it was like kind of perfect, perfect timing, and then <clears throat> and then I didn't get out till that Saturday, and and. Um, um, to that Saturday to get stuff and everything else, and then um, came back the following week. With last week, um, all of a sudden uh, worked the first two days of that week, and then all of a sudden, after the Governor Baker's edict to sh- shut down non-essential businesses, our mall has been shut down. So, so I'm out of a job, so to speak. I'm, I've been laid off. So. Um, <clears throat> Through this whole pandemic thing, and it, it's going to keep right on going till May the fourth, unfortunately. So I'll be out for the entire month of April. This is the I think this is probably the first time ever in all my 25 years having a job at the Dartmouth Mall, whether it be it from Ruby Tuesday or currently as a exterior housekeeper, that I'm not working for an entire month, and it's the one, and this is out of a, totally out of our control, obviously. And, um, you know, so I figure, you know, during this time, I've been, you know, being a little soul searching, a little, foot, uh, a little, um, you know, wheels, wheels can be in my brain spinning information as always. So I figured I want to write down the, um, top, uh, the top five pros and cons of, of this whole situation. Or what I like to call it the social distancing isolation quarantine. That's why I'm calling it S Dick, um, S D I Q, S D I Q. All right, and um, so I decided. Well, so I decided to write down the five pros and cons, and here they are. And <clears throat> if my handwriting is uh, hard to read, don't worry, I got your backs on this one, guys. All right, let's start with the cons. All right, let's start with the bad things, um, the um, one side of the coin of SDIQ, one is um, no visits. We can't visit our friends, our families, our loved ones. And um, <clears throat> the kind of inter- and inter- intertwines with number two, no fun events, no uh, church gatherings, no parties, no, you know, you know, possibly we can look at the postponement of the Wayland City Festival and the Portuguese Feast if uh, things go the way they keep going. And I know it's not going to be very easy, Um I'm hoping that's not the case, but still, it could be, you know, very, you know, a lot of people are saying it could, could last till June or July if we don't stop this. So, <clears throat> if we don't start obeying the government and you know, have us on lockdown, you know. <clears throat> so, that's another thing, too. So, that's to the first two. Um, number three, obviously, no work or job. Like I said, I've been at, I'm going to be out of a job for a whole the entire month of April. That means we're going to May fourth, and and that's that's going to be something to that is going to be very hard for us. A lot, not a lot of money has been has been coming in. So for the next five six weeks, I'm not going to be working, unfortunately. So there goes three paychecks right there. And uh, I did file for un- unemployment just in case. So I got a little bit of money coming in for unemployment benefits, which is good. <clears throat> it ain't going to be as much as I'm getting paid for, but whatever. All right. <clears throat> Um, that leads into number four, no buying fun stuff. No, I got, I got eBay cards, still you have yet to use. I've got an Amazon uh, gift card account I have yet to use up. And, and because of all the, um, the packages could be, um, um, delayed and deliveries be delayed. I am not going to, I'm not going to buy anything and I can't go to most of the stores, which intertwines with number, uh, five. Most of the stores are closed. And most of the restaurants are closed, except for drive-throughs and carry um, carry out and pickups and all that. It kind of stunk. It kind of stinks. So um, that um, 
<clears throat> that are the cons of the SDIQ social distancing isolation quarantine. Now, the pros of them, sometimes we see silver lining a lot of things, and I always say, see the silver lining, have a plan B or doing something, all right? Now, <clears throat> these are my five personal pros um, <clears throat> of, of the uh, social distancing isolation quarantine. I know number three is going to be like, it makes no sense, Eric. I'll explain. Um, one is I could stay up late. I'm staying up late right now. I usually be in bed by now at 10 o'clock and wake up around 5, 5.30 to get ready to go and get get to work at 7. And I usually I usually get there earlier to make sure that I'm there early. <clears throat> Don't miss a thing. Um, number two, I get to wake up late. Since I'm, not, since I'm out of a job, I don't have to worry about coming into work early. I can sleep in anytime. And uh, another 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 um, pro about this whole thing, usually it snows in April because I remember on this date, back in 1997, like I said, 23 years ago, and we had a humongous blizzard. And usually we have to be there to, to shovel all the sidewalks to make sure everybody comes in. If it snows any time this month, I don't think we need to worry. We're not going to worry about it because why bother? Why... <clears throat> Why bother, right? And uh, <clears throat> so we can't, you know, we, we can't, the mall's not going to open and we're not coming in. We don't have to worry about shoveling snow. I don't have to worry about driving in the crap, all right? That usually does, <laughs> I feel like April Andrew Jackson here. <laughs> it usually does snow in April. It usually does. It usually does. Um, we live in New England. That could be the case. All right, number three is time with family. Sometimes you, um, you know what? Uh, you all know, spend time with your, uh, you know, parents, your brothers and sisters, something. And I live with my family, though. That's another thing too. If you live with your family, you get to spend a lot of time with them. So that's probably good. Uh, number four, relaxation and reflection. You get to relax, get to chill out, rest up, recharge your batteries. At the same time, reflect, soul search. You know, um, you know, go in, go into prayer, read the Bible, just help to help you relax and. And um, just, you know, help your mind, you know, to keep you, trying to keep your mind sane. <clears throat> and number five kind of well, intertwines with number four. A lot of these things intertwine with each other, believe it or not. I, video, I do video games and movies. If I, you know, if the internet's down, I got some video games. Um, I got movies to watch and, and two and go and watch the Three Stooges or binge watch any show on DVD, whatever. So this is the pros and cons of SDIQ, SDIQ, Social Distancing Isolation Quarantine. If you, but follow the guidelines, what the government is giving you, in your, in your respective states, stay inside. I know it is not going to, like I said before, it's not fun. I know, but find, find something to entertain yourself, and you'll be good. I've always found ways to entertain. I want to entertain you guys. As you see a lot of a lot of Get These Thumbs episodes. I mean, the next one will be my 70th episode of Get These Thumbs. Can't wait. And um, who knows? Maybe I can open up a third channel and put all the Get These Thumbs videos inside there. I can't, you know, too bad you can't transfer YouTube videos from one from one cha- one of your channels to another of your channels. So, eh, I wish YouTube would have done that, but that's okay. So, once again, all right, now the cons of not, uh, of the, um, being social, uh, socially distant in isolation quarantine. No visits, no fun events, no work, no job, no buying fun stuff. Stores are closed. Intertwine, that's simple enough. And the pros is you stay up late, you get to work, you get to stay up late, you get to wake up late, you get to spend time with your family if need be, um, relaxation and reflection, and video games and movies are fun activities that you can do. I know my mother, you know, I think that's the benefit of homeschooling. You get, you know, well, my, my, well, you know, my, you know, it's like no days off when it comes to homeschool. You know, my mother wants to get, you know, because three of my sisters will be graduating high school this year. Three of the four sisters, my four sisters will be ha- graduating high school this year. And, um, you know, they want to get a graduation party going. So we're hoping that by the summer, most of the things, most of the stuff will probably get back to normal somewhat. But we ain't going to be the same again after all this. You know, plain and simple. We're not going to be the same after this, and possibly could be in a good way, of course. And um, 
I know I know a lot of people are very angry. Um, a lot of people, you know, you know, you know, people are saying uh, there's um, there's some um, there's some reports are saying that uh, it's a political way to um, get Trump out of office. Um, there's more uh, more of us. Um, you know, is China's upset with us here in the states, so they decided to get back at us in, in this way. I mean, a lot of sorts, sort, all sorts of craziness that's been happening. And I prefer to not watch the news. I prefer not to believe in anything going on Facebook right now. I just trust in the Lord God and let Him um, do the work that you know He needs to do. And uh, you know, I'll just worry about my life and you know, and worry about my friends and family. And I check up on them when they okay. I'm glad that we get the internet that we can communicate with each other. That's a good thing. And uh, that's the biggest pro ever. We still commun- communicate with each other, which is an awesome thing. You know, Zoom has been um, doing much. Now I have not been on there. I've got Discord app. I've not been on there for a whole lot because I'm trying to make odds and ends of everything going on and try to keep myself sane. I don't want to take my anger out on people, and I don't like. Uh, I don't want to do that. And uh, I know a lot of people are very angry with China right now, and um, I'm I'm one of those people, and I don't blame them. Um, you know, people are upset, people are angry, and uh, we need to just, you know, keep our minds right, keep our minds sane, just follow the, uh, follow the protocols, follow the guidelines, and I think we'll be good. And hopefully, we stay washing our hands, stay inside. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to do that. I know a lot of people don't want to stay inside. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to. And I can understand where, where are, they're all coming from. It's not that easy, you know. Life is never, life is never, life has never been easy for anybody, you know. Trust me. So it's, um, I uh, personally just, you know, yeah, we're all going nuts. I mean, we're watching uh, wrestling events with no fans in the audience, you know, and that's, and that's going to be the worst thing ever, you know. And uh, and it's not, you know, like I said, it's uh, uh it's uh. It isn't the um, the most fun thing to, to, to be in the world. You know, give me a second here, and we'll, I'll keep talking because, and it's not you know it's driving us crazy. I mean, we got you know WrestleMania was supposed to be this weekend, and it's going to happen this weekend. And I'll make picks and predictions on that. But the problem is the card's been changing because a lot of people have been backing out. We had to tape; they had to tape events to make sure they comply with the governor's wishes and everything else. So Florida is you know. I think a lot of people in Florida not obeying the law, so governor said that's it, you know, shutting down. So it's not going to be fun. So you know, it's going to be rough the next few um, next few days, and we'll see what happens. And um, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that May Fourth will be the day that we get everything back to normal. And and once we do, we're going to have to process, reprocess everything and find out what the heck is going on and see what we can do. And I know it's not that easy. I work outside uh, sometimes. Um, it's, like I said, it has not been, um, like I said, the easiest. So I, I, I work outside the mall prior to all this. And so it's uh, life, you know, like I said, we're just going to hang in there, folks. We're going to hang in there. I know it's not, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be fun. But, you know, it's ain't a vacation, and it's a forced vacation, if you ask me. It's a mandatory quarantine isolation, more than likely. But, you know, to, to some of us, it's a vacation that we might need, and that could be the thing that, you know, I could need. And hopefully, if we get back to, th- back to the swing of things, we'll, um, we'll be back. We'll be back in no time, you know. And it won't be the same. Won't be saying ever again, but we'll be back. You know, 2020, you know, off to a roaring start. Yippee. That's sarcasm, if you want to know. Yeah, it has it's been crazy. And a lot of people have been talking about this Tiger King and this goes some um, gay dude with a mullet. So I'm like, what? That's a mullet? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, uh, yep. I was like, saying this, uh, the social distancing quarantine has gotten to, gotten to everybody. <laughs> Let's watch this Tiger King guy. Look at that. He's a gay guy with a mullet. <laughs> Mullets are cool, but, uh, you know, I'm not, not, I'm not knocking gay people. I'm just, uh, you know, it's, I think it's totally bizarre the way things are. And then they get, and people get upset about Carol Baskin. And it's like, 
who's she and everything else and stuff. You know, let's, let's just look, just look her up and go on Wikipedia for God's sakes. You know, all right, it's just, it's crazy. It's it's been totally crazy. So, that's it. The, the gay guy's name was Joe Exotic. Now the guy's in jail. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah, so I don't know what to do now. Just um, um we'll probably could continue on with more episodes to get these thumbs. I really enjoy those episodes, and I want to keep going with them. And um, well, I'm not to um, you know, it's it's midnight. It'll be April second, so April Fool's Day is over. Nobody pulled an April Fool's joke on me, which is a good thing. And um, I will. Um, I will. Uh, uh, just. Uh, just hang in there and just. Uh, gotta do what I gotta do. All right. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful night. Um, Wonderful night. Uh, if you're all sleeping, you can watch this video in the morning, and um, I, I'll try to entertain you guys more than I best I can. So, uh, so I bid you all good night, and I'll see you in episode 535.